Good morning. Two dash two seven. Removal of the carriage feed shaft. One. Remove the keyboard transmitter from the teletypewriter. Two. Remove the carriage feed mechanism from the teletypewriter. Para dash two seventy. Two dash seven zero. The disassembly of carriage feed mechanism. One. Remove the retainer ring that holds the carriage feed link to the carriage feed lever. Remove the carriage feed link from the carriage feed lever. So, let's get on that. And I'm just going to see if I can pry it out. And that's that. Just a note, I am going to try to put this back on so that it stays together. Two, remove the retainer ring, remove the assembled carriage feed link and connector link. Remove the connector link from the carriage feed link. I believe this is the carriage feed link. The next step calls to take off this retainer ring from the connector link. So let's get that done. Assembled carriage link. And it should pop right up. Okay. Bring this back on. It says to remove the uh, connector link from the carriage feed link. I'm going to leave it on. Three. Disconnect the carriage feed pawl spring from the carriage feed pawl and the spring stud on the teletypewriter. This is the carriage feed pawl spring and this is the carriage feed pawl and it is now time to take it off. Not sure how hard this is going to be but we'll find out. Four, remove the two machine screws and lock washers. Remove the assembled space pawl mounting bracket and carriage feed pawl. This is the assembled space pawl bracket and I am to remove these two machine screws. Five, remove this self-locking hexagonal nut and flat washer. Remove the carriage feed pawl spacer, space pawl flat washer, and if present, the felt washer. Six, disconnect the carriage feed clutch lever spring from the carriage feed clutch lever and the spring post on the teletypewriter. Okay, this is the carriage feed clutch, and I'm 
I'm supposed to remove this spring. So I'm just gonna give a little tug here. See if it comes out. Seven, remove the retainer ring, remove the carriage feed clutch lever, and if present, the felt washer. Okay. Here is the retainer ring. lever and this whole thing should come out. Let's see what we got. Okay. And so there's a felt and the clutch lever. Eight. Remove the set screw and the carriage feed clutch lever pivot stud. Here is a pivot screw and the carriage feed clutch lever stud. And so we're going to loosen this up. A little note, I've put the parts, these parts in the bag because there's not that many, I labeled them uh, right down to the set screws in there so that I'm just running out of box space and so that's how I'm keeping these organized. Three, Remove the machine screw and lock washer and remove the assembled bearing block and ball bearing. I'm going to remove the machine screw. A lock washer. With a little bitty claws on the little kitty paws, you down round of applause. Good God, we're odd, no dogs are loud, but we're proud and we meow it loud. That's ugly. I don't think that's correct. This is supposed to be a lock washer. That gaffed the bejesus out of that, too. I plan on changing that for a lock washer. So, ooh, it did come off. I'll be darned. Just a note. It also just pulled right off. So there is a felt, fairly large one I might add. And I believe the next step calls to take out this bearing. But I'm gonna leave it in for now. Four, remove the two machine screws, flat washers, and lock washers. Remove the ball bearing. Five, remove the two machine screws, flat washers, and lock washers, and remove the bearing retainer. This is the bearing retainer. This is on the back side. And we're removing two machine screws and lock washers. 
cats that are warm. But some of us have powers into cats we transform. Under a full moon or a quarter moon or a half moon in a bad mood, bad breath, yes, cat moon. Like There's a note that there is a flat washer and a lock washer. So there's two washers on these. Six. Remove the self-locking hexagonal nut. Pull the carriage feed shaft far enough forward to clear the ball bearing and remove the shaft and, if present, felt washer from the teletypewriter. seat in the teletypewriter frame. Just a note, I put the bolt back on for safekeeping and the whole thing's going in. Okay, just a note, this too is going in a plastic bag and sorry about the mess. It's going in here with the MS. night cheeky chicks. This is what's left of uh, the teletypewriter frame and there's still plenty of uh, systems to come off of here so I think it's weird. Well not weird but these subsystems like I don't even know why this hasn't come off yet but it talks about just inspecting these this stuff and um, so far the manual has not let me down at all, so I'm sure I'm going to find a step-by-step -step on this stuff too. So. Alright, that's what we have left to come off. Good night.